Hey, it's Alyssa from Rome Wise, your go-to guide to Rome. On today's video, we are going to talk about what to pack and how to dress when you visit Rome in spring. If you're new to my channel, Rome Wise is your go-to guide to Rome, where I bring you lots of fun things to see and do in Rome and beyond, great places to eat and drink, and plenty of secret spots along the way. So please subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button while you're at it. My advice for packing for visiting Rome in spring differs a little bit than the advice I give for packing for Rome in summer and winter because those two seasons are really stable throughout the entire season, whereas spring, like fall, is a season that has very changing temperatures from the beginning to the end. No matter when you plan to visit Rome in spring, there are two rules of thumb you should definitely follow no matter what. Rule number one, be super, super, super comfortable. This means really comfortable shoes and comfortable, breathable cotton clothes. Where shoes are concerned, try not to bring shoes that you still have to break in. Try not to bring flip-flops. I see flip-flop carcasses all over Rome all the time. People don't realize those shoes, those flip-flops, flimsy shoes are just not made for the kinds of cobblestones and basalt streets that we have here in Rome and all the walking that you're going to be doing. I would suggest bringing two pairs of shoes with you, at least one closed-toed pair of shoes, and if you want, a pair of sandals as well. If you're gonna be wearing sandals, just make sure that they're the really sturdy walking kind of sandals. And for closed-toed shoes, again, something comfortable, something that's really comfortable to walk around a lot in, something like trainers, sneakers, running shoes, hiking shoes. As for clothing, just keep it simple, comfortable, breathable fabrics, particularly cotton and linen. Number two rule for visiting Rome in spring, no matter which part of spring, layer. Not only can the weather change a lot during spring, but it can change a lot throughout a given day and even during your trip. Even if you have a three day visit here to Rome in March, for example, you could encounter extremely different weather conditions during those three days. Again, keep it simple. By layering, I mean wear a light, cotton top, I have a tank top on here, you could wear a t-shirt, something short sleeve because when it's beautiful and sunny you are going to want to enjoy those rays. And I've got a very light silk cardigan on. It's lightweight but it also keeps me really warm on those cool spring evenings. If you've been following me for a while or if you've seen my packing pages or my other packing videos, you know that the one thing I tell you to never leave home when you visit Rome, no matter what the season, is a scarf. A scarf is one of the easiest things that you can layer with. It barely weighs anything. You can pop it in your bag. It warms you up really, really quickly. And as a bonus, it's stylish. This is how Romans dress all the time, no matter what the weather. Here are a couple of other ways that you can layer. These are two things that I always walk around with in my backpack when I'm visiting Rome in spring. Okay, first is a travel umbrella. Super, super small, very handy. Second is this raincoat, which weighs nothing. It's just a shell. Yes, it is sunny right now. It is not raining, but I just want to show you that I have this little shell with me. It's the easiest thing to pack in my backpack. It weighs hardly anything. It's really lightweight, but it's waterproof and it is great when you're walking around Rome and there's a sudden downpour. It can happen. I also love to travel with my handy little travel umbrella. You will find guys selling umbrellas outside when you walk around and it starts to rain, these guys will appear all over the place selling umbrellas, but they are not very good quality. So I suggest you invest in a quality travel umbrella so you have something to take with you on every trip. Okay, now it is time to get a little bit more specific. Spring goes from the third week of March all the way through to the third week of June. As you might imagine, the weather can change quite a lot in that time. I don't know about you, but when the calendar changes from February to March, I always feel like, ah, oh, spring is here, March is a spring month. But the reality is that most of March is a winter month and it really does feel like winter. So if you are visiting Rome in the last 10 days of March, which is the very beginning of spring, you can count on it being pretty temperamental. It can be kind of wintry and I would suggest bringing a little bit warmer clothes than you see that I have on right now. We are in mid-April and it's considerably warmer. If you're visiting Rome in April, I am coming to you right now in April, the weather can be really beautiful. Today it is in the mid 70s, it is just delightful. I am in short sleeves, but this evening it is going to cool down. It is gonna be in the 50s and I'm gonna be needing, if I'm out, I'm gonna be needing a sweater like I showed you before and a scarf 
probably not a jacket, but you should have one just in case. As you probably can imagine, April showers bring May flowers. Yes, April can be a pretty rainy month in Rome, so definitely bring some things for the rain, like that travel umbrella I showed you and a waterproof shell. If you're visiting Rome in April and even May, you might be surprised to find that these months are not quite as warm as you might hope they would be. I have been writing about the weather in Rome for years. I've been helping people plan their visits to Rome for years, and I can tell you that Rome is kind of funny in May. You would think that it's this warm, sunny, beautiful, flowery month, and it is, it can be, but we actually once spent the entire month of May here in Rome without ever taking off jackets and scarves. It just, it just never got warm. It was very strange, but you have to plan for that. In May, you are still gonna want that cardigan, you are still gonna want that scarf. Also, don't forget that you need to be properly covered if you're going to visit the Vatican, any church, or any Christian site. So if you're walking around like this, you are going to need that cardigan or scarf to get into those places. If you decide to visit Rome in June, this is mostly a spring month. The first three weeks of June are actually spring, but we are getting much closer to those summer temps and you can feel it. So June is a month when you should start planning to pack for a more summery climate. You could bring a bathing suit. We have beaches here near Rome. We have some pools in Rome, so you could even consider visiting those places. So you might wanna bring a bathing suit if you're coming to Rome in June. I hope you've enjoyed this video about what to pack and how to dress for visiting Rome in spring. Leave a comment below, especially if you've got questions, I'm happy to answer them. Come on over to the website. I've got lots of pages and I've got more videos about what to pack when you visit Rome. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you at the next video. Ciao for now.